Hi, my name is Kimberly Gant. I'm the Curator of Modern and Contemporary Art here at the Brooklyn Museum. I'm Indira Biskarun, Curatorial Assistant of Modern and Contemporary Art. And together, we are the curatorial team of the exhibition, A Movement in Every Direction, Legacies of the Great Migration. Today, we'll be giving you a highlights tour, talking about some of the objects in the show and talking through some of our personal reflections, both about the artworks and about the Great Migration. Let's go take a look. What I love about this series of tapestries titled An Ode to You All by the artist Akia Brian is it really expands the way we think about the Great Migration. The story that, it, that she's telling is about her great-grandmother and her great-aunts, mm -hmm. uh, the Phelps sisters, who actually stayed in the South so that their male relatives could move north. And in staying in the South, they built schoolhouses and they created this community where the people who stayed really had opportunities to thrive as well without having to move and it really just adds to the more expansive understanding of what happened during the Great Migration as more than this linear narrative of people just leaving the South. Yeah, there was also a connection so that those who did leave would always be able to come back. And I also just love the process of the pieces, the fact that she is using family archival photographs from that community, from that moment, you know, making them into these tapestries, these kind of commemorative objects that can be on the wall, but that she hand embellishes them and so makes them another level of texture, another level of just drawing the eye in to really connect with you and connect with the audience and hopefully that it's making viewers think about their own families. My family doesn't have a photo archive. I have no idea what the stories of my ancestors are. So seeing an artist really engage with these very personal images and this very personal narrative um, really brings humanity to the statistics we usually associate with the Great Migration and makes you think of all the families that were impacted. Are you like super familiar with like why he chose this? The, or like the well, yeah, because he, so Theaster had spent time in the summers in Mississippi, even growing up in Chicago's families from there. So he would spend time with his uncle during the summers as a kid. And his uncle had a double wide. And so, and I think also within Theaster's practice, he always is looking at architecture. He's always looking at vernacular culture. What really connected me was the foodways. Think pickling as something that was done historically just as a preservation tactic. You are thinking about the ways in which you're utilizing the resources you have to create these much larger conversations about economy and art, but that it's put together in this beautiful way of just conversation. The images inside, the idea of movement through space, um, the idea of, of memory and history, and that even if the individuals are no longer with us, you know, there are echoes in them in the way that they taught you how to cook. They taught you where you're gonna go to church and how you're gonna pray and practice the music that we um, listen to and perform. It's all these echoes of traditions and people and knowledge and memory that just continues um, into the present and the future as long as you continue to remember and practice it yourself. These pickles were made in Mississippi for this piece and are mm -hmm. now kind of traveling around the country with the show. Mm -hmm. So you, you have that sense of movement as well um, through that part of the work and also the fact that the trailers themselves are made of you know, wood that was decommissioned from the Park Avenue Armory over mm -hmm. in Manhattan. Um, some elements were taken from a building in Chicago. So you have that sort of multi-sensory mm -hmm. uh, autobiography in the work um, that is really just captivating. <laughs> So we have two pieces by Carrie Mae Weems here that really work together and I think really tell 
again, with a lot of the other artists, a really compelling personal story that really relates to so many other families. So her video installation called Leave, Leave Now, um, and then working together with her photography work, um, The North Star. And it is a call to action, but also I think a meditation about the, the sad disappearance of her grandfather, uh, Frank Weems, who was a union organizer and a farmer, and sadly trying to fight for equal rights in Arkansas in the early 20th century. I think one of the things that really is striking to me about Leave, Leave Now in particular is it has this sort of aesthetic of the past because the artist is using this Pepper's Ghost technique. Um, it looks like kind of a, ho a ghostly hologram in this red curtained theater. But then you have the artist's voice and then her sister's voice is narrating parts of the film in a way that really grounds it in the present. This is not something that happened to just one family. It's this truly horrifying event that, you know, when we spoke to the artist, she even mentioned thousands upon thousands of families have a story like this. So this monumental drawing is by Robert Pruitt and it's called A Song for Travelers. We're looking at this moment, a kind of an imagined moment based on a photograph that he found um, looking at a family reunion. He's really placing himself now in that past moment, but then recreating it with all these both real and imagined moments and how his family, his friends, his community is singing him, singing the embodiment of him as a traveler, singing him into what he needs, both I think physically, but also spiritually. Each figure has a sort of offering for the traveler. Um, if you look really closely at their hands, you see a child with jacks, um, these sort of candies that certainly were always at my grandparents' house. <laughs> This is one of the pieces that you need to spend time with um, and really look at it from the kind of kind of large panorama. It's a way of, of giving and showing that no matter where you are, no matter where you go, no matter what time, you have a community. And it's not just the family you're born into, but it's the family you create and that wants to embrace you. So that was our highlights tour of A Movement in Every Direction, Legacies of the Great Migration. Really hope you enjoyed that. You know, though it was 12 artists, each one did such a different job um, and created such different works, all complex, all fascinating, all very sincere and personal, but I think also very connectable to so many other individuals and families. It's more than a number, those were six million people, and then their families, and then their communities were impacted. And for those who did leave, what were they leaving behind, and what were they finding when they got to where they were going? This, the true scope of this and the humanity of it really comes through in the show in a really special way that I'm very excited that our visitors get to experience and, and learn about. Please come and see the full exhibition, currently on view until June 25th. We'd love to see you here.